I used to whisper dark secrets to my coffee pot. Things I would never share with the toaster. Not for fear of accusation, but for the sake of preserving his shimmering innocence. In fact, I had not even prepared toast since I was small. Very small, for what are those last years of youth but a blur of nicotine and ill intentions? Besides, now I had stared into the toasty abyss, and it had erupted in my face like a failed science fair project, and now I would have to go to the store. I had used my last two slices of bread, save for the outer crusts, eye boogers of the bread world. I hate going to the store. I always forget to bring a quarter to check out a cart, and I end up carrying my groceries stacked in my arms like I only came for eggs but made a swift and fate-altering discovery of the clearance aisle. Not worth it. But what would I eat? I needed some carbs, if for no other reason than despite my past self, engulfed as he was in the flames of a metabolic blowtorch and draped in the inflammable pride of an undying king, struggle nachos will do. A handful of tortilla chips, a handful of shredded cheese microwaved together on a styrofoam plate so that the cheese and the styrofoam undergo some kind of backwards mitosis and you feel as if each bite is a willfully pulled trigger in a suicidal game of stomach cancer roulette. And orange tang. Yes, four scoops so there's still powder on the bottom. A friend once told me orange tang was originally created for astronauts. He was my best friend. He would know what to do about the toaster.